Hello and welcome to this first CarDB tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install SCARDV and also how to install includes from the SCARDV include manager. So as you can see I have a brand new Windows 7 installation here for you guys. And the first thing you'll want to do is open your browser. I'm using Firefox and browse to the SCARDV website. So that's scardv.com with a uh, little stripe in the middle. Once you're on the website you'll want to click the download button here and unless you want to run SCARDV from a USB key or any other portable uh, storage device You'll want to press the download SCARDV 3. Point and well, the version number may have uh, increased as new versions have been released after this video was made. But currently, it's 3.26, so you'll want to download that and not the portable version. Right. As you can see, I downloaded this before. It's actually because this is the second take of the video. But there we are. So you'll want to execute that. And you can close the browser. So as you can see, we have the SCARDB setup window open now. Basically, you can just keep clicking next uh, if you agree to the license terms here, which uh, basically just says you can't uh, redistribute the uh, files and stuff, nothing really important. And you know, just keep clicking next, uh, program icons here, and install. So, this is basically the final um, window you'll see. Uh, you just press finish here and as you can see the icon for SCARDV is on the desktop here. So now if we run this, you uh, get the SCARDV IDE window here. And well, I'll explain the, the functions of everything in later tutorials, um, but now I want to show you how to download and install includes from SCARDB and it's actually really simple you just open the file menu and then go down to includes manager now when you click that you get this little window and basically well I already installed this previously but if you want to install any include and these includes will probably change by the time uh, you have uh, seen this tutorial but you know you just pick the include that the script you are using or you want to use uh, well whatever it requires or if you want to write your own script and want to use one of these includes also just select the include you're interested in um, I'm going to use the SRL open dev include here and just press the install button now the current version of SCAR, and this may change in future, but currently they do not support um, notifying the user of include updates, but when you open the include manager it will show a no here in case um, the include is no, no longer updated, so it's no longer the current version. Uh, when that happens, you can just click the include and press the update button. You can also press the reinstall button in case you have modified the include or anything else and you want to reinstall it uh, so the original files will have been restored. So if you do that, it's the same window as installing the include. It just downloads it again and uh, reinstalls it completely. And that's basically it, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time.